<laughs> hey guys and welcome to this video. I'm just feeling very cozy today wearing my pajamas and my Christmas slippers. So I'm really in a festive mood. Um, and I'm filming this video in your apartment. How nice is that? Um, in my bed. But today I thought to myself, let's do a deep cleans of my dreadlocks. It's been so long since I last did that. So this morning I started to take out all of my wraps. Um, so all of the yarn that I had in my hair, I started to cut that out. And then I grabbed my Dolly Locks Professional Organic Dreadlock Products Nack Champa Dreadlocks Detox. And basically what I did was just that I filled a top. Basically what I did was that I took this purple top that I had, or have, I filled it with water, halfway up I think, and then I put in one of these white bags with powder in it. And I just let that um, think for a minute, just to get really like mixed into the water. So after that I just took the top with me into my bedroom and put it right here beside my bed and dipped in my dreadlocks. Um, and the package says that you should keep your dreadlocks in it for at least 5 minutes. So I started my timer on 7 minutes and thought that's gonna be enough. I'm not the most patient person in the world so I decided 7 would be enough, but you can wait for longer if you want to. And then you should just use your hands to get all of your dreadlocks into the water and just, you know, that makes sense I think. After that I took out my dreadlocks, um, 7 minutes actually go by pretty fast even though it's kind of not very comfortable to lay there with your head down, um, but I managed 7 minutes. And after that I just went to my bathroom and washed my hair. You can just see how the water looked afterwards. And by the way I'm just gonna say this smells amazing. You know this neck champa. You can also get incense in that smell. And seriously it smells like incense. It's insane. Um, but I don't think the water was that dirty. But I think it's because I did a deep cleanse of my dreadlocks not so long ago. So... I guess I didn't really need it, but I washed my dreadlocks with this shampoo, um, that's the NAC Champa Liquid Shampoo, and it all smells like incense, so seriously my apartment and my dreadlock, they smell amazing right now. But I used that, and just like, it's a very like oily uh, shampoo, and you have to get kind of used to that in the beginning. At least I had to get used to that. Normally, I've used some very, um, uh, I don't know, maybe not so natural kind of shampoos and not so oily. So I think I had to get used to the feeling of this compared to the the shampoos that I normally use. Um, but it does smell amazing and it should be like very um, natural and everything so that's amazing. By the way all of these products were sent to me uh, so that I could give a review and test all of them and tell you guys what I think. But I've now deep cleansed my dreadlocks. I've used my lovely Dolly Locks um, Nac Champa shampoo and now I thought to myself why not just style my dreadlocks a bit, like show you what I do when I've been taking a shower. Um, because I do have quite a lot of loose hair at the moment. I'm getting more and more. Everyone keep telling me, Elise, you've got so much loose hair. Are you getting rid of your dreadlocks? Um, I'm not. I'm just really liking the more like natural look of having both dreadlocks and loose hair because I am getting loose hair by time. And in the beginning of my dreadlock journey, I um, I just hurried up and like started to put the, the the hair back into my dreadlocks. But now I just I just like having this natural look with both dreadlocks and loose hair. So, but I thought I would show you what I normally do when I've been taking a shower to um, moisture all of my loose hair, but actually also moisture my dreadlocks because. Dreadlocks can get pretty dry by time, especially my extensions I've noticed are getting like pretty dry. So to take care of them, what do I do? 
So in the same smell, Dolly Lux sent me a conditioning oil and that's exactly what I use in my loose hair and in my dreadlocks when I feel like they need some moisturing. So I just grab a little bit and seriously I mean a little bit because some of the times I've been doing this, like I've had these products for like two months. Sometimes when I've been doing this, I've been using so much oil that it just looked like my hair was dirty even though it was completely fresh. So just be aware of that. Maybe begin with your dreadlocks and use the rest up um, in your non-dreaded hair. And this seriously smells amazing. It all just smells so natural and like incense. So I love that. To me that's the smell of like home and yeah. So this is basically what I do when I've been taking a shower or like once in a while when I've been taking a shower and I want to treat my dreadlocks a bit. This is what I do. Mm. Just gonna grab a bit more. And start down here. You can see my background is still pretty like basic. I don't have a lot of things. Um, and I, there's still so much I haven't unpacked, I just haven't had the time to do it yet. But soon, I hope, I can start to unpack. Like this. So that's pretty much it, and I think you can see it actually, I think you can see it on my dreadlocks. That I've put in some moisture and also in all of my loose hair. I got so much loose hair, look at that. You can also get oil that are unscented, unscented. Of course, if you've already like washed your hair in the same smell and stuff, maybe you should just use some unscented. But I like to smell a lot like incense, so I don't mind. But you can also use one that's unscented, unscented, and I was also sent this uh, tea tree spearmint refreshing spray that's for like um, just for your dreadlocks to feel fresh again. It says um, spray on to scalp and dreadlocks so that you can also use them on your scalp if it needs some like treatment. Um, use daily, weekly or as often as you'd like. And this is by the way 100% vegan. Um, I don't know if all of the products are 100% vegan. I think they are actually, um, just to mention that as well. But I was so happy to have the chance to test some of Dolly Lux products. And if there's something I really want to recommend, then it's actually the oil because I have experienced with my own dreadlocks that they have felt pretty dry by time, especially the extensions. And sometimes it's just really nice to have a product that you know is made for dreadlocks. Um, that you can be 100% sure about is okay um, and it smells amazing and it feels really good. The only thing is just to not use too much at the time but that's pretty much it. Um, but I really enjoyed testing out these products and I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like so nice after my deep cleans and yeah my dreadlocks just feel so clean and fresh and smell great. It's insane, it's actually it's crazy. Thank you so so much for watching this video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you are going to have an amazing day. I'm just gonna chill a bit, I think. I hope so, because like, as you know, the last month or months has been maniac crazy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's, it might be because you're not watching my vlog channel, Life of Elise. I'm gonna put a link down below. But I've been moving and there's just been so many things going on. Um, but I'm finally a bit set and that's so nice. So, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you again tomorrow with a new one. Bye guys!